The FA-18EF Super Hornet has been a mainstay in the naval aviation fleet for several decades. As a supersonic twin-engine, multi-role fighter aircraft, it serves as the U.S. military's carrier-enabled fourth-generation fighter jet, essentially the U.S. Navy's version of the iconic F-16. So, in this video, we take a closer look at the various facets of the Super Hornet, exploring its history, capabilities, specifications, and future outlook. Let's jump right in. The Boeing FA-18E and FA-18F Super Hornet are carrier-capable supersonic aircraft known for their highly versatile multi-role fighter capabilities. Introduced in late 1999, the Super Hornet Block 1 marked a significant evolution from its predecessor, the FA-18 Hornet. Key enhancements include a 33% larger internal fuel capacity, upgraded avionics, and a more powerful engine, resulting in expanded range and payload capabilities. The FA-18 designation underscores its dual role as both a fighter and an attack aircraft. The origins of this concept stem from the U.S. Navy's ambition to replace specialized single-mission aircraft with a versatile jet, capable of diverse roles. Inspired by successful World War II carrier-based planes, the U.S. military faced early challenges in the jet era due to limitations in power-to-weight ratios, leading to a focus on specialized fighter or attack aircraft in the 1950s and 60s. By the end of the 1960s, the U.S. Navy sought an economical alternative to the costly Grumman F-14 Tomcat. Turning to the Air Force's lightweight fighter program, the Navy faced a choice between the single-engine General Dynamics YF-16 and the twin-engine Northrop YF-17. Preferring the reliability of twin engines, the Navy collaborated with Northrop and McDonnell Douglas, leading to a heavily redesigned version of the YF-17, now known as the FA-18. Originally planned in three models, the FA-18 evolved into a unified FA-18A and FA-18B, laying the foundation for the Super Hornet's strategic role in design evolution within the U.S. Navy in the 21st century. Powered by two General Electric F414 GE400 turbofan engines, the Super Hornet showcases exceptional agility and speed, reaching a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. Its advanced sensor suite includes the Raytheon ANAPG 79 AES air radar, providing heightened situational awareness and target tracking capabilities, complemented by an infrared search and track system for expanded detection ranges. In terms of weaponry, the Super Hornet features 11 weapon stations, accommodating an array of air to air and air to ground munitions. These include AIM 120 and AIM 9 Sidewinder missiles for air to air engagements as well as precision-guided bombs like the Joint Direct Attack Munition for accurate air-to-ground strikes. The cockpit is designed for optimal pilot performance, featuring a large touchscreen display, advanced avionics, and a hands-on throttle and stick control system. The latest variant of the Super Hornet, the Block 3, entered service with the U.S. Navy in 2021. It brings a suite of enhancements to the FA-18 Super Hornet, including a new IRST capability for extended target detection, improved satellite communications, and innovative fuselage coatings to minimize radar signatures. The airframes underwent upgrades too, extending their service life from 6,000 to 10,000 hours. In February 2023, Boeing announced it will stop producing the FA-18 Super Hornet by late 2025 citing reduced demand and heightened competition from Lockheed Martin's F-35. Despite this, we believe that the adaptability and extended range capabilities of the Block 3 model will keep the Super Hornet relevant well into the 2040s. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.